The long national nightmare that has plagued this country must be finally over so that the reoccurring dream can forever continue. I call upon every American to ask not what you can do for your country, but ask what your country can do for you. The one thing this great nation has learned from its glorious history is that we do not learn from history. So we must hold firm to a new vision thing and continue our lasting legacy to never learn from history. With regard to taking bribes in return for political favors, let me make this perfectly clear that I will not seek nor will I accept any party favors or bribes from anyone until after the time that I completely and faithfully serve my office as your President of the United States. And concerning the charges that I lied about my involvement in the arms for drugs for sex for arms for drugs for sex scandal, let me make this perfectly clear that I lied in telling the truth about my involvement in the arms for drugs for sex for arms for drugs for sex scandal. And furthermore, I told the absolute truth about lying so that to the fullest extent I did in fact lie about lying. And at no time, as your president, did I ever sell secret classified information to the terrorist country of Slavovia. Of course, it's no secret that I've had access to very hard, sensitive classified information. But as soon as the secret information came into my hands, because of the threat to our irrational security, it at once became a declassified secret. So let me say this once and for all, that all declassified, classified information was no longer concealed as a secret and therefore was transferred mysteriously from my office to the terrorist country of Slavovia. Now I've always been a straight shooter with a smoking gun. So therefore, I am proud to say as your president, read my lips, mission accomplished. And concerning the allegations of marital infidelity, let me say this, that I have had many tireless employees working under me in various positions over these many years. Although I was fully present before, during and after extramarital activities were being performed to me, by me, for me and through me at all times, I did not have sex with that woman or that other one. And I want to honestly confess to you that I have committed adultery in my heart many, many times, but without success. Make no mistake, I love my wife, Sharon. We stand today with complete wavering faith as a world power and leaders of the freeless world because we have fought the good fight in the war for terror. We have made yesterday's enemies into today's friends and we will gladly make today's friends into tomorrow's enemies. And this is why, as your president, I promise I will pass on any burden so that we can sell at any price. Thank you, and good night, and God bless.